Hey guys, and welcome to a new series with me, NG Paradox, in the CK2 Game of Thrones mod. This new series is kind of a special one because it is actually a sequel to an old series I did that is arguably a lot of people's favourite series that I ever did. And that was the Doc's Family series. Well, I played my very own custom house as a former lobster merchant family. It was a lot of fun, and if you did not watch it, please go check it out before watching this series, as it will give you a lot of the family background and our rise to power. And a lot of people really enjoyed it, and there's many, many episodes of that to go through. Also, if you did watch it, maybe go check it out again and go refresh your memory on the story that we told. It was a long time since we did it, and I know a lot of people have told me they've gone back to re-watch it, and they still really enjoy it. So, I'll put a link down in the description below for the Doc's Family playlist. So, go check it out. Now, this next part is going to be a lot of explanation for the setup of the series, so I do apologize for this long splurge of information for what we're about to be doing in our new series. So... Our new story takes place in the same history as where the Docks family became Lords of Case. And as we know, Westeros' history has been the home of many families' rise and falls. One of the most famous being the fall of the Rain House from Castamir, as the song Reigns of Castamir tells us. Under the leadership of the Reigns, a few houses felt that the Lannister Lord was not strong enough to tell them what to do, and why should they bend the knee to such a weak man? And so, as you do, they rose up against him, and were ultimately destroyed by his son, Tywin Lannister, who then killed the families involved. So the year is 8,261, just after the events of this tragic situation, and the Doxes have ruled Case for many generations by this point, from where we started last time. So, what is going on with them? Well, in this alternative history, with the Doxes present, uh, they sided with the Reigns and the Tarbex due to their close proximity and their relationships in the family. And so, in the end, they sadly met the same horrible fate as them. So I, I gotta tell you guys, in this history, the Docks family was just wiped out by Tywin Lannister. Press F in the comments to show your respects, please, to this once proud family. But, there is hope, my friends. Before the rebellion, the Lord Docks had given birth to a bastard son. This boy, not being his true heir, of course, grew up knowing he would never rule his house's lands, but he was still treated respectfully and given a normal education in books and sword. As he grew up, he became even more interested in books and stories, especially those of the past Doc's Lords, and stories about things going on across the world and geography and events. This led him to asking his father to allow him to sail to Essos and become an explorer to seek his own story, adventure, and maybe discover new things. His wish was granted a year or two before the rebellion and this current time. This adventure would ultimately be cut short as his ship crashed upon the Thousand Isles, east of Ibn, and he was never heard from again. What happened though, was that he had washed up on the shores of Nefer, a weird and mysterious place he knew not much about, and he had planned to find a way home. He worked with the locals, and his skills and knowledge very quickly allowed him to go up in the ranks of society. Even the leader of the people of Nefer noticed and granted him land for his help. Now, he would soon have the money to make his way home back to the Westerlands and see his family and father once again. That is, until he heard of the news of the rebellion 
and the deaths of the entire Doc's clan. He now vows vengeance against Tywin and the Lannisters for the death of his house, and the hopes to return someday to reclaim his family lands and honour. And so guys, that is the current situation of the character we're going to be playing. We are going to be playing a cadet house of the Docks family and trying to go back to Westeros to reclaim our family's lands and get vengeance against those that killed our family. Mainly Tywin and of course the Lannister clan. So the man in question, the bastard son of a Dox who travelled the world and got all the way here to Nefer. Nefer? Nefer? I'm not sure you pronounce this exactly. He crash landed upon here. He got to know the Lord here. Lord Hassam Argusson. He knows the gods of Nagay. But he learned to respect the young bastard for his skills and granted him land so he could gain money to go home. And our man is going to be Lord Parry Redox. That is correct. This family, this cadet branch of the Dox house is called the Redox family because we are back, baby, with the Doxes. And so I've converted the colours, you know, kind of similar to the Blackfires. A lot of people kind of suggested that, so I made the background red and, of course, the lobster blue. I was thinking about doing a darker blue because I know lobsters actually, before they are cooked, they are actually a kind of dark blue, aren't they? Maybe a black kind of colour. So this shows that the Doxes are still alive within me. Their blood flows within me. And the red in the background is me walking upon the blood of our enemies of the Dox house. That is why it is as it is. House Reed Dox. Where will we go? What will we do? Will we gain vengeance? How will we get home? It's going to be difficult. And we have no claims because maybe no one believes us that we are the lost bastard of the Dox family. Now, for our character, his name is Lord Parry Redox. I went with Parry because our original character was Parry Dox, because obviously that relates to my name. It's uh, pretty obvious if you put it together. So I thought we'd go back to that name, start off with that, so it goes back into this family, because with the Dox family, Parry was a very common name. So I'm hoping to get that into this family as well. When it comes to his traits, I've put in a few traits that I felt fitted in with the Doc's family, but also fit in with this character and his story. So as we can see here, he has Ruthless. He will do anything that needs to be done to get home and get revenge for his family. He's a family man. He learned about the Doc's family. He really respects it. He loves the history and stuff. And of course, the rest of the family, his brothers and whoever else was part of the family at the time when they all were wiped out. And so, he always thinks about them. He is very bookish, he's erudite, he's got a bookish disposition, he loved to read books and stories, and that's why he wanted to go out on an adventure. He's an ambitious man, he was willing to go out and cross the world to find his own story. He's brave, of course, as well for doing that, and of course, finding his own way in a weird, mysterious land where he does not understand maybe the culture, etc. Um, he's a trained fighter, I said that he probably had just a very generic education for a noble, nothing special. Um, just a very, you know, trained. He's just been trained to fight. He's not got anything special when it comes to fighting, anything like that. He has quick, because I felt that in the docks is maybe, I think sometimes we had quick quite a bit. And of course, ugly. A docks family tradition to be ugly. And a dutiful academic. So his learning's pretty good. So he's very well educated um, at this point because he's a smart lad. Um, he's got some good intrigue. He's good with money. He's good at fighting if need be. Diplomacy could use a bit. You know, a bit of work because of his ugliness. But overall, I don't think he's a bad character. He's 34 years old. He's not too old. I, I didn't want him to be too old because I felt, you know, he's got to be young to go off on these adventures. We've got to have kids and stuff. This could be extremely difficult. We've got to try and find our way back to Case. Or the Westerlands, of course. Uh, we could take over the Westerlands or maybe just the Iron Throne. But we need to get back to at least Case. That is at least our main goal. So how are we going to do that? Are we going to have to amass ourselves a force over here and try and get over there? I think the idea for us should be is that we take over Nefer and we grow out from there. So we try and grow out against the tribes and stuff here. And then maybe we go to Yt. Maybe we go this way, take over Iban. Or maybe we can get enough money. We need to just raise enough money to be able to go back to Westeros. This could take many generations. 
This is not the idea set for him. No one knows that he's alive still. Everyone thought he died upon the Thousand Isles, but he is alive and he is looking one day to get back. So maybe it'll be many generations till we can get back. I'm not completely sure. But yeah, I do like the character. I hope you guys enjoy. Tell me, guys, down below in the comment section, what do you think of this new story? Do you like this idea? Do you think it's interesting? I like the idea of going from all the way from the east to west. It reminds me of Danny in some ways, obviously Danny being in Calf and stuff, but unlike Danny, we don't have the privilege of being a Targaryen with dragons. We're just a dox and a bastard at that. We don't even have a lobster, you know? We have nothing. We have nothing apart from this little castle. So we've got to make do with what we've got. So let's see what we do have. We have one castle here, a couple of things there. We have 1,400 men. This guy has 1,500. And the Lord has 5,000. So I think the idea would be to take over this one here and then use both of these castles to defeat the current Lord. And maybe if we can raise enough money, we can start to rebuild these different ruins here. Could be really useful. There's a lot of possibilities that we could do, but I want to make this a long series, I'm hoping, like the normal Doc series, and try and take a long route home, unless something pops out. Now, when it comes to our council, it's not looking good. Um, okay, we do have people here. Okay, that's fine. But I was a bit worried when I saw only two people given positions. This guy could be pretty good when it comes to being a marshal. But do you have any people at Intrigue? We have people better at Intrigue. That guy's a genius. Okay. We'll go. Oh, we need a Justice Seer. That's the most important. So he'll be Justice Seer. That's the most important because we want to fabricate a claim upon the fields of Nefer. Um, Sinestral. We will go with... I guess we need someone who's a bit more balanced. A Dial's got 10 and 8. Yeah, we'll go with Dial then. He'll be this guy. He'll be the Sinestral. Chief General will go with Haru. He can lead the men. Lord Treasurer will go to Yanin. Uh, we don't have any kids right now, so we'll just train troops to we'll get more men. You can collect taxes there. We've actually got a pretty good council. When I mean, you consider all of it. Domain improved. Special teeth collected. Maybe we should send him to do that. Relations improved. Okay, let's go. Let's get him to do that. Spy master will be given to... None of them like me. This is going to be a problem, though. We've got to start where everyone's going to hate us. They both just hate me. Um, Who's nicer? This guy's cruel, so let's give it to this guy. <laughs> let's give it to this guy. Can we send him a gift? 20. I guess we have to do it, don't we? We'll give him that. Give him a title. What else can we give him? What can give, like, 10? I'm pretty certain one can give, like, 10. No, plus 5. Okay, court. Well, we'll go with Master of the Hunt. Order on retitled designated regent. Let's do that. No, let's not do that just yet. He'll, he'll like me. It's only minus one. We have no court physician. And we have no septon. Now, do can I get him? Do I get a maester? I'm actually not completely sure. But there we go. That's our council for now. Not particularly great. Anything special I can do in these lands? Or We're now in the new update of the game, of course. So maybe we have some new updates that I haven't noticed for anything we can do. You know, it looks the kind of generic thing. If we have a quick look at the white book, I guess, for now, who's on the King's Guard? We've got Sir Gwain Gaunt. We've got Sir Simon Hardy. Barristan the Bold. We have Harlan Grandison. Look at that formidable fighter. And, of course, Lord Commander Gerald Hightower. Better make the people around us important characters so we know exactly what's going on in our realm. But that's really it for us. Just those two really want to make important characters. We don't... We're not really bordering many people. We don't have many options at all. Um, auto stop plots. Should probably do that. Factions. Could probably go for like uh, some faction. But I don't think either. Us, us two together I don't think could defeat him. He's got 4,000 men from his own castle. That Yeah, we're going to need both of these castles. Just to even be able to challenge him. Uh, we can send for a maester. Which I will do. So I can send a maester all the way here. So apparently no one knows I'm here, but the maesters, the maesters always know where you are, guys. Keep that in mind. They always know where you are. Um, rulers unmarried. I have to look for marriage. That's the most important thing. This first part, we might not get to do much, guys, but we'll see. Maybe I should marry a local. Maybe we should look for someone who's uh, of our religion. Can we even find anyone of our religion? No, we cannot. Okay. We're not going to be able to find anyone of our religion. We'll have to look for someone then with good traits. Um, let's just do that in a second. We'll do an ambition. 
I guess get married? For now, we need a kid. Getting married and having children is the most important thing we can do at this point in time. I guess a family, because we're thinking about a family. We want health, yeah. Yeah, let's do that. So we don't die. We can have kids. And obviously, he's thinking about his family back home and how sad he is. Uh, bodyguard, this guy's got a 55. We'll put him as our bodyguard. He's really the only choice. That's it for them. And then I guess the marriage, yeah. So let's see what we've got here. Anyone with some good natural traits. We can't really marry for claims and stuff. That's not going to be useful. We just need some really smart, good kids. Maybe, like, attractive to get, to get rid of our ugliness. Maybe no one does. Maybe there's actually no choices here. Well, there we go. Okay, so it looks like we might not have a choice there. How about you have a daughter? You have all sons. Does your son have a daughter? No, his, none of his sons have daughters. Okay. And none of his sisters had any daughters either. So we're definitely not going to find one there. I guess we find a, a local person. Let's try and look for the first... Um, what are the people here? Nagai. Okay, so they're Nagai, and these guys are Jogos Nai, yeah. Okay, so we want Nagai. People of Nagai. Let's see if we can find any. Carthians. There's a lot of Carthians. I'm not sure if we're actually going to find any. I could be someone in my actual court, maybe, who might be. Miranese, Yunkai. Oh, Engai. There we go. There's 32. She's a bit old. 34. I, I want a very young girl, really. I mean, 32, she's younger than me. So it might make sense that he might fall in love with her. You know, she is next door to her. And if you're new to any of my series, guys, you should know, you should have watched my other series, you got to this part, um, that I'd like to roleplay as my characters in some ways. I'm going to keep to that, obviously, with this series as well. I think I'm going to have to marry one of those two girls. The 32-year-old one, I think, is the one we have to go for. There's no other choices when it comes to the people around us. So we'll go marry this girl. And there we go. So we'll marry her, get that done. Hopefully she can have kids with us. I definitely, I know the Ibn have difficulty having kids with other people, but she should be okay. We need a new courtier then. We need a holy man. I need a Septon. This of course is, I'm spending all my money right now. But Leo has arrived. He survived on the ship as well, we'll say. He was also on the ship when we were there, and he survived. So we'll make him our Septon. He's got 12. We get him to convert the local people. Heathens attack the priest. Maybe not a good idea for now. Wait until we get a better one. Perform charity. How about you just go perform charity for now? Let's try and keep on the good side of people. We just got here. And we don't have much land. But we need the claim. Once we get a claim for that, we can start doing things. Ambition to get married has been done. He would like to make me the Lord Treasurer. So there we go. That's going to be good for me. I'm now the Lord Treasurer for Mr. Hussam. Abgasun. What is this guy called? Lord Nazra Kadagan. A new ambition. I guess have a son. Let's go with that. Then we'll have a son next. We've got 10 diplomacy. Now look at that. 10 for everything. Okay, maybe I made him a bit too good. But I guess your first character you should make pretty good. I didn't actually want to make him that good when I first made him. But I guess he did. My lord, the maester we sent from the citadel has arrived. Maester John. He's a riverman. He's got very good learning, but nothing else. Is he doing what he should be doing? Serve the court? Perfect. Okay, so we won that claim. What percentage do we have for the claim? 19% chance. That should be pretty good. We've actually got quite lucky they're getting a good guy at fabricating. He would like a favor. I'm going to decline. I'm going to decline. He's not that strong. He's not that important. Basically, when we get a claim, or we need to get money to kind of do these ruins. Those are the two things we need right now. Mm, he could owe me a favor. I don't think I can really gain anything from that. I'm going to decline. I don't think we can really gain anything from having a favor with him. I am on his counsel, so maybe I could kill him. We could cause some havoc here. I am ruthless. I'm willing to do anything that must be done to gain power. We need power so we can get revenge. That's all he cares about. Never been a shortage of soldiers. Good job, my man. And let's make sure our courtiers are married. That's what I need to do. Mr. Dial, make sure they can then... You work for us for many generations. Let's find you a nice wife. Okay, there's a few good ladies here. How about you marry this one? She's slightly older than you. She needs to have kids. There you guys go. And for you, Mr. Mosa, you need a good marriage. You're a genius. Let's get you a nice marriage. A young girl, maybe. This girl, she's a family one. She's a bit cruel, but I'm sure you guys can get along. You, know, you are a master schemer, so 
I'm sure it can work out. He's married. Yannin needs to get married. How about the one who spy masked? Now he likes me. There we go. That's good. We'll get him married first, though. He can marry her. Good for him. And I think then you're the last one. It works out perfectly. We actually have a girl for him to marry. So there we go. Everyone in the court is now married. They can serve us for many generations. The Septon can't get married. Unless you're not a good Septon. Um, we're going to have to be careful with the Jogos Nye. Just like this. Jat Jakan of the East Plains has declared Jat Jakan's raid of Nefer. This is exactly the sort of thing we need to be careful of. They're going to be attacking us. 4,000 men. But this could also give us an advantage if the Lord Hassam loses too many men. We could use that as an opportunity. He's 53 years old. His son, skilled fighter, but he's not good at leading men, might not be as good. But I need to be careful that I don't get hurt by these guys as well. But in the future, if we do take this over, and that castle is pretty good, we could use that to colonize these plains once again. Maybe we could make our own kingdom here. There's, there's so many possibilities this series. And I haven't played in this area of the world very much in the past. So I really wanted to have a go at this series. To go west, we must start east, as they say. We decided to offer you a position of commander. Um, oh. Okay, I need to get on his good side. So we're going to try and get on his good side so he can trust us. I don't want to die, of course, but we need to get on his good side so he can trust us for now. Uh, Humphrey Waters has arrived at my court. Who is this boy? This random boy just arrived at my court. I mean, that's kind of cool to have a Kingslander faithful. I guess maybe he was a, a survivor from the wreckage. Maybe a, a one-year-old baby survived with me. We'll, we'll say that then for now. Unless he found his way here. I don't... How do one year Where's his parents? Who are his parents? Why is that boy... I don't understand why he's here. But he is here. We've actually got a decent amount of men now. We could win this war, actually. We might be okay. How many men does this guy have? Uh, this woman, sorry, have. Jati. 3,000. We look pretty cool with our war stuff on, don't we? Look at that. He looks ready for action. He had his arm and stuff with him still. We're 100% there. We won. What did we get for that? We just, we just get money. Well, I mean, he gets money. And there we go. We protected the people here. So we see that this place here might be small, but they can get a decent amount of men to protect themselves. And from there, we could probably expand. It's just about money. We don't make much money. Does he make much money? I guess if you attack them and take money from them, that could be a way to get more money. Then you could colonize those lands from that. It's going to be difficult. I'm just hoping we can have kids. I'm really hoping we can have kids. I could have tried to go for the seduction one and maybe try to seduce her. But I think going for family, we should be fine. Let's just cross our fingers that it works out. I say, I, I know the Ibn can't have kids sometimes with other people it's very rare i think it says on it though yeah cannot usually breed with other ethnicities i don't think it said that for them yeah he doesn't say anything about that in recognition of your glory and honor a an offers to anoint you with the holy oils and grant you knighthood for my my part in the battle against the hordes finally some recognition I've now become a knight. I've got prestige. I've got piety. Looking good, Mr. Parry Redox. My lord, I thank you for having me in your household. No! Most of the genius. Damn, we lost our genius and our great justice here, but at least this guy is 19. So, singer North Point won't be too bad. You gotta get that claim. Once we get that claim, we can start moving. He's already married. Just a shame to lose that guy, actually. He was a pretty good one. Do we have any other bodyguards? Oh, we have a ton of bodyguards. Where are these guys coming from? Okay, well, who do we have here? 40. This guy's got 45. He's an idiot, but he's skilled fighter. 60. 60 is the best so far. This guy's got 40. 60 as well. 45. Well, one of the 60s, I guess. This guy, trained fighter. Proud. He's brave. Looks pretty good. This guy is a skilled fighter, but he's a bit glutton. He's slothful. But he is honorable. This guy's trusting shy. Let's go for Ulzi. I think we'll go for him. He's a brave man. We trust him more. Maybe. We have this guy there as well. What was his jewel? 55. Let's take him off and get actually the other two. We're going to remove you. I'm sorry. You're no longer the bodyguard. Ooh, losing the title. What does he do? He's just a bodyguard. Yeah, we'll just get rid of him. It's fine. 
He doesn't need to stay there. We'll get the other guy with 60, so then, you know, I can't choose between them. So there we go. Essen in. So we've got those two be my bodyguard. Who good name is remain a success. Very nice. So you can see it's going to be difficult with the culture differences and stuff. Maybe my sons and my descendants might have to change to being, you know, like the locals. But the bloody flux has broken out in the Bay of Nefer. The gods help us. Now, that's in my lands exactly. We're going to have to close the gate. Shut the gate. We can't risk it. I'm the last member of this family. I'm the only member of this cadet branch of the Redox family. I'm the only one with Dox blood running through my veins. So we got to make sure we don't die. But hopefully this doesn't mean I can't have kids. Still, come on, Lady. Come on, what else are we going to do, Lady Taliba? What else are we going to do while we're stuck in here? Commander, I accept. I accepted it before. I guess though it's because I... Yeah, I secluded myself, so I probably took me off as being a commander. But yeah. Dio Coolin's been a Leal and Able servant. Well, I am... Hmm. I am ruthless, but I probably should give them stuff so they like me. He knows... Parry knows that you should get people to like you. So if I don't give him stuff for his good work, he'll hate me because he feels he's due something. Let's give him the money. It's only 10 gold. We don't have much gold anyway. But that will be it for this part, guys. I want this part just to be an introduction to the series... Want to get your kind of feelings towards the series. What do you think about it? What is your reaction? We'll make some important people around, important characters. We've got the Azur Emperor Boo. Boo Gay, the second skilled fighter and stuff. Uh, we'll make the different, I guess, horse lords around here. The Jogos Nai. And their cone heads. We'll make them. They ride the zebra kind of horses, don't they? Okay, we got him. And there's one up here. So we'll get them done. Those are probably the only cultures we probably contact. These guys aren't too far away, but they're maybe slightly too far away. We obviously want to keep up to date on what is going on in Westeros. It's always good to know we're going to get reports and news. It's the time of King Jaehaerys the second. He's the current king right now. His son is obviously Prince Ares. This is after the whole thing with Summer Hall. So Summer Hall's burnt down. Aegon the Unlikely burnt, obviously, to death. Very sad story. Stefan Baratheon is here. If we go down to Dawn, we have Princess Obera. Um, Obera, Martell, Duran and stuff. You know, Elia, Oberyn, the Red, Vi the Red Viper. So there's a lot of characters we know and love in this scenario. That's also another thing as well. We got the Doxes kind of in a scenario where we know a bit more of the characters and the history. A bit better for some of you. Uh, Lufa Tyrell, he's an idiot. Um, but yep, he's married to the Queen of Fawns. There she is. She's actually quite old already, isn't she? Yeah, I always forget how old she is. Um, Titus the Toothless Lion, the one that they rebelled against. Ah, and of course Tywin. We'll make Tywin an important character because he is the focus of our revenge. One day, Case will come for you. Damn Kenin family. Lost the House of Rain. Ah, sad, sad stories all around. Quell and Greyjoy, important character there, obviously with his children, Balon, Euron, and Victarion, are all born at this point in time. We've got Edmund Tully. And of course, oh, the Blackfish has become a member of the King's Guard. Refusing marriage trait there, that's kind of nice, but look at that. Member of the King's Guard, underneath Lord Commander Gerald Hightower. Now that is a good member of the King's Guard, I like it. Lord Paramount John Aaron, 36 years old right now. And of course, in the north, we have Edwile Stark, 39 years old, his son, Rickard Stark. No kids for him yet. No kids for him yet. And of course, on the wall, we have Lord Commander Kyle, just a lowborn Northman, but he's rose up to the ranks of Lord Commander at this point in time. And of course, a new Wildling Lands beyond the wall. Looks a little bit different from before, looks a lot better. But yes, guys, I hope that you'll enjoy this series. I hope you'll follow me on this adventure as well. And remember, if you've not checked out, please check out the original Doc series. It, that one was a lot of fun. And it might get you more involved for this series as well. Can't wait to hear what you guys think. I've been NG Paradox. Remember, guys, have a good day. Have a good morning. Have a good night. And, of course, have a good tomorrow. Check out the Twitch. Check out the Twitter. And, of course, remember to subscribe, to click that notification bell, and, of course, like and comment, just to make sure you can support the channel as much as possible so YouTube does not bury me underneath the wave of thousands of thousands of other videos that people make.
If you enjoy, of course. If you don't, then don't bother. But yeah, see you next time. Bye-bye.